Hello Gemini, this is Nicole with Angelic Therapy and Healing, bringing you a general and a love reading for the month of June 2016. First off, many thanks to all of you for subscribing and sharing my channel. We have now reached 4,000 subscribers, which is phenomenal. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Um, please continue to share with your friends and let me know if there's any way that I can improve the channel in order to better help and assist you. You can send any recommendations, feedback that you have to me via email. You can also send it to me in a private message through my Facebook page and I will have the Facebook page and the web page which has my email and everything down below for you. So let's go ahead and get started i have prayed over the cards shuffled them and asked that each of you receives at least one message it is a reading for a large audience so when i pray and prepare although i ask each of you receives at one at least one message it's for a lot of people so i sometimes have people that are confused you know they may find one or two messages that are applicable to them and then they have a couple others that kind of confuse them that's just because it's for a large number of people. You're talking about a few thousand people watching a reading. So not all the messages are meant for you. You may truly only find one that's applicable. So if you would like a personal private reading with a lot of details specific just for you and your situation, the questions you have, you can schedule one on my webpage. I will put the link below. I do those readings in person if you are in the central Ohio area. I also do them via phone and Viber, which is a free call app. Um, it allows you to make free international calls. And I also do them pre-recorded in videos. So it's a really good option for my clients overseas where they send me their questions. I record the reading, similar to what I do for you guys here. And what I do is I send it to them in a private link that only they can watch. And they like it because, you know, they can watch it multiple times and, and they don't have to wait because of the time difference. So if you would like to schedule, you guys can just do that on my webpage. So we are pulling some cards today from Doreen Virtues, Archangel Power Tarot deck, also from her Romance Angels, and Archangel Michael deck. Well, and also going to be pulling from The Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield. Wow. Looks like a good month for you guys this month, Gemini. So the first card we have is Ten of Michael, and you can see she's taking a bow. It's, it's an ending. In traditional tarot, this is the death card. And if you can read the bottom of it, it says a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. So I get for a number of you, you have had a, a relationship come to an end. You have uh, recently had a divorce. You have parted ways with your partner. And I'm getting for a number of you, they're saying to just com to completely let go in order for the new, the new blessings to come in. Um, And for some of you that there's you know the ending came and it wasn't it was not expected but that's because they're ushering in a new beginning for you so be open to those changes and it's that's kind of tied to this card here for those of you in that situation um which is you know let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally because again, for some of you, you know, you're just still trying to hold on. But um, they took that person from you that was not meant for you because they're going to bring someone in who, in who is meant for you. They're going to bring in a, a soulmate. I mean, you have some miracles and blessings coming your way. So they're encouraging you to accept this change gracefully. For those of you that it wasn't it was something that you were wanting that you're holding on to, let it go, accept it gracefully. For those of you that did want it and were looking forward to it, you can now let all that stress go. It's finally over. You finally reached the light at the end of the tunnel. Same thing, you have miracles and blessings coming your way. And for some of you, this is, this is a situation at work where something at work has happened unexpectedly. But it is for the betterment. It is for things to improve and get better. Um, you can't move forward in a new beginning, 
until until something has come into completion. You, you know, God and the angels, they can't bring something new into your life until there's a spot for it to come into your life. So I guess some of you have had, you know, just things come to an end at work. Now for some of you, it's, you know, position change, but for some of you, it's even like conflict. Like there was some conflict with a supervisor at work, but in June, it's gonna to come to an end. It'll finally be over so that you can move forward. And, and, and they're not saying for everybody that you're gonna have a new job. It's, the, you know, this conflict with the supervisor or maybe they're writing you and they're trying to um, defame, make you look bad. They're, they're trying to get you terminated. It's, it's going to end and it's going to end in June. So, and, it, and if they're saying for a number of you, it's even gonna be unexpected, because it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be the, the blessing, the miracle that you've been praying for, because you're like, when is, you know, when is he gonna stop? When is she gonna stop? You know, I'm miserable here. You know, am I gonna get some help or not? They're gonna get you help in June. So. Next card we have is Ace of Michael. A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. Now, for some of you that are in the situation at work where, you know, you've got all this conflict with your supervisor, you know, as part of those things getting cleared up, you know, the communications are going to open up, the communication channels are going to open up. Um, and for everyone, you know, be it the relationship ending, changes in career. For some of you, you're, this is even talking just about a completely new beginning. Um, but for all of you, there's gonna be some insight that you're going to get in the month of June. Can you see how Archangel Michael, he's, he's, okay, I think that's a view, okay. See how he's up on top of the mountain? He's, you know, elevated his perspective. I get a lot of you are going to have an elevated perspective. So you're really going to be able to see the situation clearly. You're going to be able to clearly see how to move forward. And that's gonna enable you to move forward. So it's an opportunity to do things completely differently. So for some of you, it's an opportunity to leave this. This has all come down in a relationship, so you can move forward to a new relationship. For some of you, the situation at work has ended with a you know, conflict with a supervisor, and, and you're going to be communicating. That's going to open up new opportunities for you at work, and it's going to end that conflict for you, which is what, what you've been needing and wanting. And for some of you, you are going to get like a new entrepreneurial, like things are going to happen at work. There's going to be something that just You've not been happy at work for a long time. Something's going to happen, but you're still not happy. And while, and for a very long time, you know, you've been thinking about starting your own business venture. You've been thinking about branching out and doing your own thing. And I get in June, you will be, you'll get a new idea and you are going to move forward with that. And you're going to commit to taking that step, taking that leap of faith. You can read the bottom of this card. It is, there's a prayer that says, Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. And this is, this is really, uh, you know, across the board because a lot of you know you've been, you've been praying, how do, how do I improve this? You know, how do I move on after leaving this person or going separate ways? How do I accept this new position at work? How do I, you know, move forward with this new entrepreneurial idea? How do I fix things with my supervisor at work? Y you've been praying, asking for a way to improve the situation. So Archangel Michael's just asking that you, you fully commit to the desired outcome because a lot of you with the emotional turbulence, the up and down, you know, you've been tentative, you've been unsure, you, some of you don't think that you deserve better. And, and those, those negative thoughts, that doubt is, you know, it's impacting the outcome. It's slowing down your blessing from coming in. So they're just encouraging you to be confident, be positive, know that things are going to work out in your favor and, and move forward fearlessly. Now we already somewhat touched on this, which is let go of control issues. Um, and for some of you, that was that was tied to 
you know, the relationships, it was tied to let that person go. For some of you that are just still holding on and clinging with everything you have, they're not meant for you. There was a reason that ended to just let it go, let them go so that your, your miracle, your soulmate, your blessing can come into your life. And you know, for some of you, if there's, there's like a new love interest that you have, but they're not the, the person that you, not the person that you envisioned. So you're really not giving it a chance and you're just kind of sitting back aloof. So they're encouraging just to have a little faith and just see what happens because you, you I get for number, for those of you that are in this situation, you're probably gonna find out that that person is the best that you, you like you would have never envisioned that that person would be your other half, uh, even like a soulmate, a really strong connection. But if you give them a chance, because say for example, some of you, you know, you've always wanted, you know, blonde hair and, you know, green eyes. And so, and you want like a female that's five foot six and now you've got a female that's like four foot 10 and brown hair and brown eyes. And so it's just not what you were expecting, but she's your, she's your dream boat. <laughs> she's everything you've been asking for in a mate and a partner. So just give it a shot, give it a chance um, to let go of the control. Because when we pray for things that we desire, you know, we, we, we give God, we give the angels a list of, okay, here's what's going to make me happy. Here's what I'm looking for in a mate. Here's what I desire in a mate. And they are going to bring us what we wish for and so much better. Now the packaging may not be exactly what we described, but the core things that we're looking for that's going to make us happy, they're going to bring that to us. We just have to let go of controlling it and trust. Next card is engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Now this, you know, for face value just means truly getting engaged, but I get a sense for a number of you, this is talking about taking your, your relationship to the next level in the month of June. So for some of you, this is, you know, recommitting to your marriage, to your partnership. You've lost the flame, you've lost the joy, you've lost the happiness. You know, you've been praying for a blessing, Lord, please turn my marriage, turn my marriage around. Um, you know, we never have fun anymore. We never do anything together. You know, it feels like a job spending time with my spouse, my partner. So in the month of June, make a commitment to doing things out of love, take a trip together, spend some time together. And, and what you're gonna find is the miracle and blessing that you've been, you know, praying for, asking for is gonna happen because then that, that is going to shift your marriage, shift your partnership. So, it is going to improve in the month of June. And for some of you, this is talking about not necessarily engagement, but for some of you, you've been, I get, I get a sense for a number of you, you've been seeing someone, not been committed to each other, but in, in June, you're gonna take it to that next level. Because I get for some of you that have been seeing someone for a while, you're like, okay, where's this going? You know, we've been dating for six months. Is this going nowhere? Because, you're beginning to think, is this gonna be a never ending like friends with benefits or is there something more here? And so you've been praying about it, you've been asking and in the month of June, your prayers are gonna be answered, you're gonna be blessed, it is gonna to go to that next level of commitment. So June, my Gemini's is going to be a very good month for you. You've got a lot of great stuff coming in. And they're commending you, those of you that have had to let things go, they're commending you on that because you do have miracles and blessings coming your way. And they're on their way now in the month of June. So that's, that's great stuff, that's stuff to celebrate. So all the junk's behind you, now the good stuff's coming in. And it's gonna start in the month of June, so. Congratulations, that's good stuff to hear. I would love any feedback that you have, any comments, feel free to leave them below. You can also send me private personal messages, again, through my Facebook or email. Would love to hear from any of you, hear how this month turns out. And I do wish you an amazing month filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.